Hello guys, what is going on? <clears throat> We're gonna sit down and talk about the My Hero Academia poll. Um, I always talked about this. I just don't know why I never made videos about this. So now I'm gonna make videos about them. I'm just gonna drop a manga video for this series tomorrow. Like I'm just obsessed with this series. I really am. And I feel like it, the series itself has just been getting better. You know, I've been up to. I probably make an appreciation video for. It. I don't fucking know. It. But if you guys are enjoying, be sure to hit that like button for me now below. Subscribe. This is a character popularity post. If your number one character isn't in here. The bell means let me know who your top five favorite characters are from My Hero Academia down below. It's just your all-time favorite one. We're going to talk about this, though. You see the image on the screen, though, that consistently Bakugo has been number one. I think there was actually at a point in time where Deku was number one, and then there was a point in time where Todoroki was number one. So essentially, the top three hasn't changed. They've shifted um, in the three spots that they're at, there's a new one on here though, Shinzo being number 10, I think he was in the top 20, but he never really broke that 10th spot, um, I really liked him, I've always liked him, I think people like him due to his laid back, chill personality, and that people can also kind of relate to him, he just wants to be accepted in the world, you know what I mean, and a lot of people also feel like they want to be accepted in the world, so it's like, he's a good motivation towards that, you know what I mean? Um, but to go on down the list, though, I honestly could not agree more with the top four right there. Um, and then every other list, I would probably attempt to recommend a change. But number one being Bakugo with 5,900 votes. Uh, it's just insane that this character is consistently seen as number one, especially from Japan. I thought Japan, um, I thought Japan would either like either Deku or... Because Japan never likes the chill, laid-back characters. As you could tell from you could tell from the number one. They never like the chill, laid-back characters. On um, the Naruto popularity post, I think Sasuke was at the number one because he's like kind of, a, of like a panic attack consistently every episode. So they don't really like actual chilled-back like characters. They like the characters that are really out there with that personality. So I thought that Deku would probably take number one this time since Bakugo's always been number one for a while. But Bakugo again is still number one. If you were to ask America, I think Bakugo would be number one again because a majority of the females that watch this show want to bone this nigga like no tomorrow. So, and there's actually a lot of females that actually watch this show, which, yes, female power. Bless up to y'all. Love y'all. But how this works is, again, they just vote. They choose, and I'd love to participate within the voting. Um, but this is a poll, and I don't really know when they actually, like, say they're doing a new poll. This is a poll that was held in Japan, so... I don't know if there's one that's going to be held in America. I think the series is just as big now in America. Uh, Bako being number one with 5,900 votes. Deku number two, 3,200 votes. Um, and uh, you can look at the gap between Deku and Todoroki is one vote. Really just two votes. And then Todoroki would have been number two. So, which I think in the last post, if I'm not mistaken, Todoroki was number two. If I'm not mistaken. I think now in this post now he's number three. Uh, so that's interesting. Literally, that's crazy, though. They're, they're separated by two votes. One more vote, and they would have been tied for second. That's crazy. Um, I think, I mean, you can't hate Deku. I don't know people that hate Deku because they think he's a crabby ass bitch. I'm like, y'all, character progression is a thing. Uh, Kirishima, though, the GOAT number four. I cannot be surprised because the Japanese always use the manga first. And in the manga, from the recent arc, we actually just finished with Chisaki. My man Kirishima was the GOAT, dude! So I can't be surprised at all in the slightest, man. I really can't with this brand new transformation and everything. I just can't, dude. I'm trying to be as spoiler-free as possible, so I don't want to talk about anything that happened at Chisaki arc, but... Man! Kirishima the GOAT. Uh, number 5 being Tenya, of course, which personally is not my number 5 at all. Like, Tenya for me would be in, like my top 15, top 20. I like him, but at the same time, I like other characters a lot better, you know what I mean? Um, number six is Aizawa, which, again, Japan really likes Aizawa. Like, at one point, was he number three? Um, Japan really likes Aizawa. So, and a lot of people in America like Aizawa, too. But specifically, Japan, they really like Aizawa. Um, number seven is All Might, of course. Coming in at 1,300 votes. Uh, I feel like they get a lot more votes. 1,500 is number one. Um, number eight is going to have to be Kirishima. Which, Kirishima is, er, yeah, Kirishima, am I, why am I, 
What the fuck? Electric dude. It's Kirishima, right? Kaminari. I'm blind. <laughs> I said Kirishima. I keep get I honestly I it's not that I get their names mixed up, it's that their names are kinda also starting with a K. I haven't I haven't had sleep in like nineteen hours. Alright, come back, guys. Um but yeah, like I said, Kaminari sitting there number eight. He's actually one of my favorite characters, so for me to forget his name. Woo! Pretty embarrassing. He doesn't get much screen time. You know, I feel like he if you want someone to actually control his quirk, I really want him to actually control his quirk. Because come on man, that quirk is insanely powerful and it's cool and I feel like he could even do something where he becomes faster himself. So much potential for that quirk, which I'm hoping that he eventually controls a little better. So that's being brainless every time he uses it. Number nine is being Uraraka Ochako, and number ten, of course, being Shinzo the Goat. So, um, honestly, go look at this popularity post. Uh, the number four for me, probably the same for me, except shifted. Like my number one, if you guys really don't know me, Todoroki is my number one, and then Deku is my number two, and then Kyoshi was number three, and Baku is my number four. So, yeah, you know what I mean. So. It shifts around there, it really does. Unfortunately, there are no villains in here, so it doesn't seem like people in Japan really like the villains that My Hero has given us. We got goat villains like Muscular, Chisaki, so it's like, which is essentially Overhaul. We got uh, freaking uh, Tomura, Shigaraki, dude. He's really fucking cool. So it's like, they. I've, we've seen the common denominator. They're not even sane. We've seen the common denominator. Elephant Dobby! You know, Dobby gets more screen time than Shinzo, so it's like, I don't think maybe they're nuts about villains. I really don't think that they are. And to be honest, when you look at it, how America's also influenced a lot of the things with uh, Japanese anime, um, people in Japan are also influenced a lot of things in America, like the superheroes like Marvel and DC. But I didn't know, the whole series of My Hero is, like, the creator has gotten inspiration, not from DC, but from Marvel, so... Yeah, Marvel the Goat, Marvel, Marvel's better, man. Marvel the Goat. I'm um, just like a lot of people in, in America also have like, you know, all Japan town and Chinatown. You know, we're culturally invested inside of Asian culture as well. They're also culturally invested inside of American culture as well. Which you probably sit down and think, America sucks. Why do they? But they, you can't look at it like that because they think it's pretty cool. So so the creator did get some influence. I mean, you look at Sero. He's literally j anime Spider-Man. I'm not even kidding. If you go look it up, like he's actually based off of Spider-Man. And there's a character that's actually based off Deadpool too. He's one of the villains. Like you can look at the design looks exactly like Deadpool. So ton of Marvel influence. Ton of it, ton of it, ton of it. But you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about this popularity poll. Um, it's interesting to see that Bakugo has been consistently getting number one. So they do love those loud out there outgoing guys. You can tell. Characters like these usually get number one. Like I remember Naruto's number one for a long time too. They just they just love characters like this. They just love characters like this. And to be honest, too, Bakugo is one of those characters that has this personality that isn't a failure. You look at people like from Bleach. I'm currently rewatching Bleach right now, so I'm using Bleach as an example. Noitora, one of the Espadas, the fifth Espada, which at one point he was number eight, but the fifth, right? He has a very similar personality to Bakugo. He's a obnoxious asshole that is strong, that doesn't want to give up and thinks he's the best, right? Wrong! Noitora's kind of bitch made and he loses a lot. So and he has to go through all these means. Whereas Bakugo is an actual genius. The guy is strong. He's smart too. He's placed number one to actually get within the school. He just wasn't recommended like Momo or Todoroki. Um, but I feel like with more time he probably would have if he waited a year. He probably would recommended, but you know him, we just wanted to get to it. Most characters of Bakugo's personality are just they, they just like you look at Vegeta too, where he loses every single fight in Dragon Ball Z. Not super, but Z. He loses almost every fight. So it's like, my point being, most characters of personality like Bakugo lose, but Bakugo literally wins almost every fight possible. So it's like, and he has W's underneath his belt. So he's one of the few characters that I actually like with a personality like that. Because most times I don't like. Like I'm not a big fan of Vegeta, and I'm not a big fan of Noitora. I actually really can't stand Noitora. So. Yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and who your number one is out of here from the top 10 or just anybody from the series. And with that, guys, I am the Nexus. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.